ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought, where today we will be beginning a new campaign. A Chinese campaign, to be exact. 1819, legendary difficulty, historical AI. Um, I create my own fleet as always, and shared designs, yeah, whatever, I don't make designs for the AI. So yeah, don't care about that. What I do care about <laughs> is this flag. <laughs> I just saw the most... <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm not going to say it. I'm just going to show it. This is what I saw. <laughs> you got to admit. <laughs> In a way, it, 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 it's so freaking... It's so wrong. It's, I like it. I like it. Anyway, let's dive into the campaign. Select slot one. And let's go. And yeah... You heard a ping sound just now, didn't you? Dee dee. And that was the first episode of my Italian campaign being finished. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there we are. And, oh, this is very fascinating. The highlight borders, I turned that on in the Italian campaign and it goes over to this one because on default, this should be off. Okay, well, hey, learned something new here. So, China, look at her. What a beautiful country. And, yeah. Oh my. This is looking, ooh, shipyard size is looking very, very small. 8,000 tons. My God, sir. Battleship three in nine months. Hmm. Well, let's start off with the basics, shall we? We have torpedo boats, torpedo cruisers. Hmm, interesting. Light cruisers, coastal defense ships, oh my. And turreted battleships. Experimental turret ships. And battleship one. Yeah, you know I gotta go with this one, right? I mean, let's be honest here. <laughs> Let us have some fun. I want you as far forward and you as far backwards as possible. I would like these dual funnels there and there. What is the difference really? Mm. Looks good, looks good. Main guns, please tell me I got some good guns. Mark one, mark one, mark one. No, sir. I only have crappy ones. Um, I'm tempted to go 9 inch however let's go with the 10 inch instead it does not really fit though does it if I make you a bit wider and now I cannot literally cannot move you at all so this is this is it okay well Casemate guns, three inch casemates, yes, please. And a whole lot of them. Can I get some in the front as well? Excellent. Two inch on the main tower and on the rear tower. Okay, 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 secondary guns. Um, I feel like this ship needs some four inch guns. Tower slightly backwards, please. Secondary guns, four inch. A single one? A single one is fine. Oh yes, I like this. I like this a lot. Let's see. We do have citadels, but honestly, bad idea. Unbalanced rudders will be fine. 
Um, 12 inch, 5.5. Five. Yeah, that's good. 2, 1, 2. We have an aft weight offset now, so let's not. There we go. The pitch and the roll are pretty, pretty evil. Let's make sure she's all filled up. There we go. 16.2, the Sun Sike. I'm sorry, I'm going to butcher all of the Chinese names. Um, the Japanese names to some extent, well, I, I still butcher them, but at least they're understandable. I'm not even gonna try in this campaign, sorry. Just no. <laughs> so, slow battleship, okay. Um, I would like, I don't have any good memories here. And what just happened? I misclicked. Four thousand tons. Main tower. In essence, this is just a small battleship, isn't it? Main tower. You know what? All the way here. These secondaries need to go in first because I do want them no matter what. I do need two funnels, it seems. To get you up to 15 knots. Oh, yes, it fits. Oh my god, it fits. It just fits. Perfect. Secondaries, check. Casemates. Four inch casemates. Only one. Three inch. A couple. Two inch. Perfect. Main guns. Um. Let's be honest, I don't need big guns for this ship. Um, it's a heavy cruiser. We're gonna face off a shit ton of torpedo boats and things like that. I'm actually thinking of going single barreled six inch guns. Single barreled rate of fire, 1.9 rounds a minute. The dual ones. One point twenty six rounds a minute. Yeah, of course, of course, makes sense. It's two guns, but yeah, sure. Let's let's go with a dual and a single. I like this. I think it can be fun. Uh, let's see. I would like a three inch four and a half belt, a seven inch main belt. Three, two, two, yeah, if you want me, come and claim me. This ship will be armored up from here to Tokyo. From China, that's not that far, actually. Can we go 17 knots? 17 knots would be kind of nice for a cruise for this cruiser. Being a bit faster than the battleship, she is supposed to escort. And just to be on the safe side, yeah, we can put another gun there. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, let's get standard crew in for better reloading. More range? No, not that much. Like this. Yeah, this will do. Safe design. We have ourselves our heavy cruiser. Now, light cruiser. Um... Torpedo cruisers will essentially replace all my destroyers, assuming I can go up to 22 knots. Can I make that work? The short answer, no. A six stacker and only 28% engine efficiency. Whew. Let's 
Let's try something different then. <laughs> I gotta try this, man. I gotta try this. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. I love it. This is bloody insane. We cannot put four inch guns there. Let's put two guns there, one gun there. In fact, let's have some fun with the four inches as well. Let's, let's, I know guys, I know. Um, hold on, hold on, no, no, no. Um, auto mirror disabled, please. I want a gun there and I want a gun there. This should essentially be the best, let's be honest. But this is what I want. Just for shits and giggles, something different from what I normally go for. Short range, please. Let's decrease the beam of the ship. We're 300 tons overweight though. How on earth am I going to save 300 tons? Honestly, I don't think I can. Well, I can. Remove you. That's still 300 tons now. <laughs> if I remove the bulk hats, Bring the speed down to 20 knots. Then I can remove some of the funnels. And I'm underweight. And being underweight again means... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I've done that, this joke before. But this time with a 5-inch gun. A 5-inch centerline cannon. Hidden, sneaky hidden between the giant smokestacks. <laughs> but I got engine efficiency, man. I got my engine efficiency and no one will take that away from me. Can I go with a three inch main belt, a four inch, a five? Ooh la la, I can go all the way up to six. Oh, let's balance her out a bit let's see if we can get the roll and the pitch down a bit by adding deck armor there we go we have a bit of a four weight offset and a starboard weight offset how's that uh, 0.94 is a bit much if I take a tick there, so no four weight offset, but a slight port one. Yeah, sure, why not? It is different. <laughs> the Zhao Yang. Torpedo boats. Um, two inch guns. Oh, hold your horses. Activate mirror mode again. Is that a problem? No, sir, it is not. Ooh. <laughs> the roll 100%. Hello. That's pretty bad. Yeah, I'm not going to build torpedo boats, I think, not to start with. I ah, don't like them. So why should I? That's sad. I would like 
three battleships. Each battleship has two heavy cruisers with a couple of extras and the rest will be filled up. Ooh, well, that's not a lot actually. Keelung, Tainan, Hong Kong. Oh, I got Hong Kong, okay. And the rest, I don't really care where you deploy. Start the campaign. Let us check what I want to do financially. Like so. And I'm not going to focus on any technology for the time being. First things first, though. Let us make sure... We get some allies in and around the world. And with that, I think I'm going to pause the recording and go forward until the next major event happens. And there we have it. China and the Empire of Japan are at war. And talk about a horrible timing. I have a invasion going on at Thailand that is failing by the way and my entire fleet is being refitted right now active fleet zero ships luckily for me the refits are almost done one month and then all my ships are ready for action my ships have been gotten uh, rangefinders so yeah in one turn, my fleet is operational. Just in the nick of time. Let's see, a six inch cruiser and a five inch cruiser against a Shokai and a Siam. Yeah, you know what, let's take him. Let's see what the enemy is like and let's see if the game actually works these days. Ah, there we go. Enemy is to the north. The weather is okay-ish. Let us turn my ship in and you will join the line. Let's see if this game actually works these days. 17 knots. The enemy heavy cruiser has bigger guns. My main advantage is that my four inchers and three and two inchers as well are actually Mark II guns. Also, these smokestacks look retarded. <laughs> yeah, we have spotted the enemy. But at least this ship is moving in a straight line again. So, yep. We are good to go. My four in my four inchers are opening up before the six inchers did. Ha! Awesome. Both ships continue shooting at the enemy heavy cruiser. I'm counting on my four and six, uh, well, on my four inches, really, to do the job. Armor piercing rounds on the main guns, please. A mm, couple of uh, ricochets there. Let's switch to HE instead. Flooding hits. Tell me. Standard bulkheads, 0 0.9 kilometer range torpedoes. Activate torpedo avoidance and watch her die. Let's see how the light cruiser handles the turn as well. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, this feels playable again. Good. One ship down. 
and me did 88 damage. Let's quickly take a look before she sinks completely. 20 knots. No range finders, 15 inch torpedoes. Ooh, the enemy almost doubled her damage there. They actually did. <laughs> Should have it though. With my strong secondary guns. I think it should be doable. What are you doing? You are no longer moving. How dare you, sir? Okay, let's try AP rounds on the main guns. Let's see if we can put a hole inside of your ship. Yeah, she's turning on the spot. It's like she has torpedo avoidance enabled. Um, not the greatest of victories, but it's a victory, people. It is a victory and the first victory of this campaign. I've seen campaigns start worse. Okay, auto select ammo please. The enemy is running now, isn't she? Speed 13.9, 14, yeah, she's running. Close the distance as quickly as you can. Let's detach. Hmm, no avoidance enabled automatically. Okay, close the distance. Go, go, go. I don't want her to get away. Her speed is 15.9, almost 16 knots now. Luckily, this ship has great engine efficiency. And can quickly go up to 19.5 knots. Don't leave me. Get back here. 19.3, 19.4, 19.6. I am no longer catching up with her. Since I am only doing 19.5 myself. However, hopefully my four inchers will be able to cause a flooding hit. Let's find out and I'll be right back. Okay, sadly she got away. Still, a heavy cruiser sunk. That's pretty good. That is better than I generally get with these early ships. So, let us see. Let us see. You guys, let's send you out to East Asia to see if we can get some, you know, some raiding done perhaps. And we have another one. Let's send you guys to Okinawa. I would like some light cruisers to join that main fleet there. Thank you. Okay. Then, finances, let us up the crew training. Besides that, um, I'm not going to build anything. I'm not going to do anything. So let's just hit the unturn. Enemy heavy cruiser, 20.5 knots against two light cruisers of mine that were on their way to the main fleet. I'm willing to take that one. Enemy is northeast. Stop avoiding. Let's go. It appears to be... Well, they say it's daytime, but I would say it's uh, evening. It's early evening when the Chinese warships encounter a Japanese raider. Immediately, my ships went to battle stations. Mm, mm, mm. General quarters, general quarters, all hands, man your battle stations. 
and immediately the four inch guns and three inch guns opened fire. The guns were roaring. As first lieutenant Ching Shao of the four inch battery said, the ship was filled with smoke and no matter wh where you tried, how hard you tried, all you could breathe in was, what, gun cotton? I don't know. Am I, do I have gun cotton on this ship? Yeah, no, brown powder. The smell of brown powder filled your nose drills and everything else. The smoke obscured the enemy ship every now and then as we tried desperately to see what shells were ours, ours so we could aim our guns better and by the time we almost had our guns aimed the admiral ordered a hard about to match the course and speed of the enemy raider a few moments later a massive crash and explosions were heard as the ship that was following our flagship was hit by a enemy shell. The first blood was on the enemy. Our admiral was worried and started to lay a smoke screen instead. To counter the aggressive fire from the enemy warship. An enemy warship that was closing in rapidly and our admiral ordered to prepare for a torpedo attack. If the enemy got closer they would pay the ultimate price. And before too long, torpedoes were launched. Both of them, however, well, no, at least one of them failed to connect. Luckily, our gun crew managed to do what our torpedoes could not. Namely, sink the enemy ship. And it was uncertain what gun caused the massive damage that caused the enemy ship to flood? For all gun crews claimed it was them. A massive enemy shell then hit the flagship, causing 10 crew members to lose their lives in the explosion that followed. It was regrettable. However, the ships continued on course. Guns blazing. And an enemy torpedo attack was fortunately spotted in time as our cruisers decided to come about and dodge the torpedo as the enemy ship went down. We stayed for a while longer to look for enemy survivors. However, Unfortunately, none were found. One light cruiser sank and some transports. And we have a battle. Three heavy cruisers of mine against the Ryujo with 11 inch guns. If I take that fight, uh, Japan, 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 I overlook you. You have four battleships, so losing a battleship will be very important to you. Very important indeed. Should I though, with only heavy cruisers, they're not built for it, so Whoa, enemy doomstack, enemy doomstack. Let us unite my raider groups. That will give me two battleships, two, four heavy cruisers and three light cruisers. I would like these two ships to join me. Hong Kong. Tell me you can reach that in one turn. Yes, you can. All right, I'm not gonna take that fight. I'm going to wait until my fleets are united to destroy the Japanese. 
once and for all. In two months, near rangefinders, two months, five inch guns mark two. Oh, that will be very useful for my light cruisers. As we have another battle coming up. Uh, Norway wants another battleship. I'm gonna say no to that. The Japanese fleets returned home. However, a large cruiser engagement, that is something I'm willing to take. The screen is still a bit shaking when a battle starts. Let us form two divisions here. Please, Kay, thank you. You will go to a breast formation, 10 ton speed, enemy southeast. All right, let's go. And this division. Turn a bit so the following ships can get there faster. We have a cruiser advantage in terms of numbers. However, the enemy has the better guns. They have, what, seven point something inch guns. Me, six inches. And we have spotted the enemy. Seeing the enemy over there. Okay, yeah. Glad I moved the second division uh, in a different uh, position there because that would have been nasty so as my first guns are opening fire a second ships open fire at the second enemy Okay, let us slow down to 15 knots. And you guys, tight formation please. There are five enemy ships. This is the first division of three. I'm going to somewhat ignore those. The second division is where my interest will lie. U3 on the other hand, just concentrate fire on separate targets for now. Hopefully I can get a good hit in on these enemy ships. They are in a escort formation. Well, I'm essentially in a very big line. And I should be able to neutralize this cruiser without too much of a problem. Main guns, AP rounds only, please, on that division. Let's break her. Come on. Come on. Don't let her get in torpedo range, please. No, she's getting in No, she's slowing down. She's slowing down! Oh, that is wonderful. Right on time, even. Right on time. Why did you stop? You got ship avoidance on, perhaps? Either way, I need to turn that division as well now. This ship is done for. Let's target the next one. You guys can... Yeah. Nice. First enemy ship destroyed. Second division is in combat formation as well now. Let's see. That is the second Chinese, uh, Japanese ship, pardon me, that goes down in this campaign. In terms of damage done, yeah, my four inchers. Yeah, those secondaries, man. I think that is the way to do it. 
ignore big gun tack at the start of the game and focus on getting your small guns up and running. Small guns are more than enough in the early game with good enough penetration numbers, really, for most enemy ships and guys you cannot pen, you can burn. Hold on. There we go. That will be two enemy heavy cruisers gone. And then the question is, what will the other three enemies do? I assume they will disengage. Boom. Another flooding hit will seal her fate. All right, let's turn northwest, all ships. Because she is done for. Five times speed, enemy lost sight of me. This was what, almost 300 crew members? That's a lot. I think my tactic worked, well, brilliantly, I'd say. 10 times speed, yeah, let's give it a minute or so. Oh, look at that, look at that. They're coming back in. That is silly. I would not have done that. Shokai, go to you. Yuzo. Targeting two enemy heavy cruisers now. Yeah, I'm gonna close the distance a bit. Normal formation. Feel free to open the ranks a bit. First enemy ship is taking heavy fire. Excellent. Again, from the looks of it, yeah. Although my six inchers have caused some nasty damage as well now. They really caught up. Look at that. One over here. Shokai is down. Gorio took a nasty hit straight away from a six incher. Very unlucky, I'd say. Will you survive? I do not think so. Nah, you're done for. We just... Oh, we took our first hit. We took our first hit after five... No, four enemy cruisers sank. <laughs> oh! Ammo detonation on her four inchers. Oh, that is... That is deadly, I think, even. Yeah. Yezo is no more. There we have it. Threat neutralized. 13,000 victory points. Not a bad start, I'd say. And we are winning. Frankly, yeah, I'm gonna agree to the peace deal because I really have no interest here in fighting anything of the Japanese. Um, cannot naval invade them either right now. So yeah, I'm not bothered with them. That's sad. Um, finances are looking fine. Range finders, one month, then we get the new ones. And then we get 5 inch mark 2 guns. That means I can upgrade my light cruisers now. Mm, do I want any of the enemy ships? I don't have any torpedo boat designs of my own. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So I'm going to take 20 torpedo boats. Or, well, I'm going to ask for 20. I got 13. Good. That is very good. Ooh, last transport lost. Okay. And the war is over. Let us move my ships back home. Six Japanese ships sank. Um, yeah, their heavy cruiser fleet is gone. Didn't get their battleships, but next time, next time. Finances, we are losing a bit of money right now. So let's go back to 80% and 20%. There we go. Norway wants another battleship. <laughs> Talking about battleships and battles. How is that invasion of mine going? Yeah. Ouch. No worries though, no worries. No, I need to keep that running. There we go. Let us design a new heavy cruiser. New design. Mm, we can also get the battleship one. Shall we? Funnels. What can we do with this? You know, you 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 really want to have a gun here. But if I do this, I can get a battleship with very good engine efficiency, considering. Um, you have to are doing 16.2 if I get you to 17 knots. No, engine efficiency is very important to me. Casemate guns, let's see. Let's go with the four inches. Well, that's a bit of a shame. <laughs> okay, three inch it is. Let's bring the four belt down to three inch, main belt to 12, seven inch aft belt. Yeah, there we go. Aft deck, overweight. There we go. There we go. Not the best battleship. And I forgot the powder, whoops. But essentially, it's just a. Uh, the, the main gun of this battleship is not not necessarily its main gun. Its main gun is the secondary battery. And I'm gonna build one of you, only one. <laughs> um, am I going to design a new heavy cruiser as well before I end this episode? You are a 4,000 toner. This one is 4,200 tons. So it is a bit bigger. In fact, we can go to 4,800 tons. Okay, hold on. Hold on. 70 knots. If I go with a minimum... No, wait. I don't have to. There we go. Uh, secondary tower. Almost forgot, pardon me. Three inch guns, check. Main guns. 
Um, again, I think I'll stick the six inchers on here, just like the last one, but this one will get a dual six incher here, rather than a single one. Standard crew quarters, unbalanced rudder, with a barbette, compound armor, anti torp protection, white powder, gun cotton, long range range finder. I would like a six inch main belt, six, five, four, three aft, two, 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 three. Seven, no, three is the max. Okay, we have an aft weight offset still. So let's do that. Main belt, can we go to seven inch? Yes, we can. Enhanced reloading, light shells, increased ammo. Yes. And we can, can get a citadel in. And oh my God, I'm stuttering today. <laughs> There we go. Safe design. Let us build two. Finances are, are a okay. So let's build two more. And some extra hidden away from all the official uh, <laughs> Thailand pushed me back. Yeah, fair enough. Well done, Thailand. Shame. If I had taken Thailand, uh, the taking of Burma over here and uh, Singapore would have been very interesting in the long run. That said, though, not going to happen today. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you very much for watching. Join me next time to see how this Chinese campaign will unfold. Until then, take care, folks. Take care.